Roger in Sutton, England writes, Hey Paul, I'm very close. After months of research, looking to buy your DirectStream MK2 DAC. Good. I love it. And I do believe it'll be a major upgrade to my April Music DP1, which, although brilliant, is about 10 years old. Yeah, that's the thing with digital. It's, it's cutting edge, right? It, it, we're always making something bigger, better, and, and that's, just, that's just the way it is. I am, however, slightly alarmed when reading comments, excuse me, about burn-in. I know burn-in is real, and the internet is full of crapola. <laughs> really? Yep, there's a lot of crapola on that internet. But some people reckon 500 hours plus before it actually sings. <clears throat> Boy, I'm sure hoping you can advise on this. And I bet many people will have the same concerns. Also, is it acceptable to just switch the unit on or should it be processing an input output signal? All right, so burn in. First off, yeah, does it sing after, does it take 500 hours to get that to sing? No. It sounds better after, I don't know, a week of, of play. How many hours? I don't know how many hours are in a week. But yes, it sounds better. I would say 24 hours of burn in, of constant playing music, is you're going to get 80% of everything you'd want to hear. That's at least in my experience. Two days, three days, <clears throat> four days of burn-in, you'll get the vast majority of what you're going to get. And if that DAC doesn't sound spectacular to you after two or three days of constant play, then you don't like the DAC. Then it's not working synergistically in, in your system. And that's a thing. I mean, it's rare, but that does happen. Some systems, we talk about synergy all the time. Uh, Systems are all about synergy. There's your speakers. There's the room, your musical taste, what you like, what you don't like. And equipment fits it or it doesn't. And we try and make stuff that anybody who loves music, who loves being there with the musicians in the room, that's the kind of stuff that we like and people who like that same sort of thing buy our equipment and find that to be exactly what they wind up getting which is it but I've met a number of people that listen to that and go a eh, little too real for me eh, not not my style that's okay that's all right because it has to work for you musically and that's one of the reasons why in this country anyway not I, I think even uh, Kevin out in Signature Sound in England does the same thing. If you're not happy with it, we'd rather you didn't own it. So we, we give a full money back guarantee. We'd let you play with it for a month. Take it home. Try it. Why would you be forced to keep it if you don't like it? That doesn't make sense to me. It's not part of our Hi-Fi family. That's not the experience of the Hi-Fi family that we would like to have. So um, I suspect you're going to love it. But that's because I'm jaded <laughs> and I love it. So, all right, good luck. Let us know how it goes and don't worry about burning. Uh, you give it a few days, it should sound terrific, okay? All right, thanks, <clears throat> bye.